continuing our coverage with Eastern Washington football here at Big Sky Football Media Day. Welcome back. Alex Eshelman here, your conference reporter. Joining me now are two leaders of the EAGS program. We've got Efton Chisholm, the third junior wide receiver, of course, and Darian Sampson, senior defensive back. But we're going to go by. for true <laughs> apartments.com the place to find a place steve <laughs> my name is steve too question how can you relate to just about anyone espn fantasy football hey do you like jefferson this week oh that's a good call steve Continuing our coverage with Eastern Washington football here at Big Sky Football Media Day. Welcome back. Alex Eshelman here, your conference reporter. Joining me now are two leaders of the EAGS program. We've got Efton Chisholm, the third junior wide receiver, of course, and Darian Sampson, senior defensive back. But we're going to go by Chiz and Samp, right? Those are the team nicknames? Yeah. Where did those come from? I'll start with you. I mean, last name Chisholm and... You know, people just wanted it something short, so it just started turning to Chiz. It Lil, works. It was Lil Chiz <laughs> when I was younger, but now it's just Chiz, so I'm good now. Uh, kind of the same thing F said. Uh, Samson's my last name, and a lot of people call my dad Big Sam, so they just called me Sam. Sam. Yep. Sam. Okay. Well, I love it. Sam, <clears throat> let's talk about, we were just talking about your education. Super cool. You've already gotten your degree, but you're studying psychology, is that right? Yes. What do you want to do uh, past football with, with your degree? Uh, first, I'm going to try to pursue the NFL, and I'm going to keep going until football tells me no. And then from there, um, it's still in the wind, but I just know I want to work with people and be able to help read their minds and communicate with them and just talk to them on a business level. That is really cool. And Efton, I asked you about this before our interview. You have this in your in your social media bio. You work with the Big Heart, Big Smile Foundation. Why is that an important foundation to you? So we got this family, the the Edelbrocks. They're uh, from where I'm from, back in Monroe, and uh, there was a little car accident not too long ago. This little girl passed away. So her and her grandma, and it's kind of uh, it means something to me because I'm super close to their family and all their cousins and stuff. So I just try to do the best thing I can and support them as many ways as I can. So. I actually got a pair of blue cleats I'm going to try to rock this year for her because that's her favorite color. So, yeah. I'm happy you brought up the cleats because I told you guys you have the best cleat game, I think, in the conference. <laughs> I mean, how many pairs of customized cleats do each of you have? Uh, <laughs> I mean, I got a lot. I'm trying to wear a new pair every game this year, so, so we're going to have as many as we need. I'm on three pair right now. I'm trying to get to four. Yeah, <laughs> I love it. I'm going to be counting every single game and making sure that you guys show off all of your cleats this upcoming season. Efton, how have you been able to adapt so well to a number of different quarterback situations? I think just coming in, I, I just built a relationship with them as a as a person before I was like trying to just be that like, let me get me like I actually wanted to be friends with them. So walked in Eric Berrier like took me under his wing and I was cool with him right right from the start as soon as I got here and then me and Gunnar builded our connection and then now me and Kakoa. Kakoa comes over out the lifts all the time we just hang out so just doing stuff off the field helps. What stands out to you about him? Kakoa? Yes. He, he got the it factor. I, I don't really know how to describe it but he's gonna he's gonna shock the big sky this year. I'm excited to see that the it factor I like <laughs> it. Who is the it factor on defense besides yourself of course? Uh, we got a lot of guys on defense who's the if factor. Uh, I can't I can't really point out one guy. I just know that we got a lot of guys on the defense this year ready to go. Uh, a big vet group, so a lot of guys play football, and we just want to go out there and win. Over the you know many seasons, Eastern Washington has been one of the marquee FCS football programs within the division. How do you hope to live up to that expectation this season, Efton? I'll start with you. I mean, we just got to put the work in. Uh, just because we're Eastern Washington doesn't mean we're going to win, you know, and that's how I think that, that kind of caught up to us last year. So we had a good off season. We just got to keep pushing, keep working, and just get back to how Eastern Washington plays football. How do they play football? I mean, that's a generic question, but what's the brand of football? How would you describe it? We gritty. That's how I say it. We just, we gritty. We get down. We work hard. We do all the little things. Darian, how about you? Uh, 
how do you hope to live up to expectations this season along with uh, the defense? Uh, just really just we took the approach this offseason to come together and just create a bond and get back to the basics of just playing physical, tough football. And we took this offseason every day in the summer to prepare for that. So I think this coming up season we're going to do, do really well and just fly around as a defense totally. I was telling uh, Coach Best this. Obviously, I know you guys take it day by day. Don't look too far ahead. But you've got North Dakota State at U.S. Bank Stadium. Mm -hmm. What excites you most about <laughs> playing in an NFL stadium like that one against a marquee, another marquee FCS program? I mean, it's huge because so many of us want to play in the NFL, and this is just like a cool little example of like what it would feel like on a week-to-week -week basis if we actually get there, you know? So that's a big thing, too. And everyone's doubting us, doubting us right now. So if we go in there and kind of shock the world a little bit, you know, it'll help us out. I think it's a great experience getting a powerhouse FCS team first game in a big venue. Uh, we went back uh, 2021, went to UNLV and took over their stadium. So we're going to go here and take over this stadium and just set the tone first game. It's marked on my calendar, guys. Can't wait to see what you do with the Eastern Washington football program this year. Thank you so much for your time. And we'll be right back with more at Big Sky Football Media Day.